Right then Dave, let's start off the training ground. The grass is growing. Tell us where we're at. Um, as you say, the grass is growing. So it was seeded about three weeks ago. Um, we've had a reasonable amount of rain as well. We've got irrigation set up there, but in the form of travelling sprinklers. Um, so we try to keep on top of it during the dry weather. Uh, we did our first roll last week and first cut last week, so uh, we now need to start stepping up regular cutting and uh, fertilising to try and get the training ground in some sort of order. Just tell me a little bit more about the last few weeks since you put the seed down and it started to grow. What, what's been the process and, and what's the process to come? Uh, well, as I say, so regular fertiliser, um, make sure that the plant's got everything it needs, uh, regular water. Um, and then mowing, so the more we mow, uh, the more we thicken it out, it's like pruning, so we encourage more shoots to grow, thicken up the grass, we want to encourage the roots down um, so that we've got stability for the winter. Um, and once we've got uh, the grass in some sort of state uh, of play, then uh, we also want to put some secondary drainage in, which will involve sand slitting the top to connect with the drainage that we put in in April, May uh, underneath, uh, so hopefully it will cope with inclement weather. And how pleased are you with the progress we've had so far? Well, given that we started it in April and we couldn't really get onto it until uh, mid-August, um, pretty disappointing. But you know, we can't. We can only work with the weather. Um, but it was very late spring, um, pretty wet summer, um, and by the nature of the soils that were at the training ground to start with, the indigenous soils, which were very heavy, were on a, a floodplain, so they were uh, primarily silt and clay. Um, so every time it rained they'd swell up and hold water and it was like a pudding so it just made it impossible to get on there. So mid-August we got on to seed um, to all finish off all of the renovation works which I'll go through, um, get the seed on and uh, now we sort of want the weather to turn a little bit so we want a bit of moisture um, to help with the growth um, but we also need some dry weather to encourage the roots down.